standard costing. We've been doing the mechanics of a variance computation, and we found uh, the variances for materials, labor, variable overhead, and fixed overhead. And we split those variances into price rate or spending variances, or quantity and efficiency variances, haven't we, for materials, labor, and variable overhead. For fixed overhead, remember the variances we split into were the budget variance and the volume variance. And the budget variance was actual versus budget, and the volume variance had to do with how much we applied as far as that fixed overhead rate, right? Now, mechanics are great, but that's not the end of variance analysis. Why we compute these variances is so that the manager can manage better, ask better questions as to why variances occur. And we want to be able to figure out why because then we can get to the root of some problems because these are just indicators of where things are not going according to our plans, right? So, variance analysis, computation is great, but that's just the beginning. What we want from it is why did they happen so that the manager can ask better questions and have better control of their cost centers that they're responsible for. So remember, standard costing used by 95% of businesses that produce products or services and it's done because they want to manage better. <laughs>